Okay, so here we have question number four from February, March 2019, paper four, two. <clears throat> the diagram shows an incomplete scale diagram or scale drawing of a marketplace, A, B, C, D. Just about to see on the screen, A, B, C. Now D is missing. Okay, where D is on CX. So D is somewhere on this line CX. The scale is one centimeter represents five meters. So one centimeter represents five meters on this diagram. Okay, one centimeter in the diagram is five meters in real life. Okay, um, they said that D lies on CX. So D lies somewhere on CX, somewhere along this line. Okay, such that angle DAB is 75 degrees. So the angle DAB, so the angle DAB is 75. So they've asked us to uh, draw the line AD and mark the position of D. Okay, so I'm going to need for this a protractor. Okay, I'm going to need a protractor. Okay, so for the, in this protractor, I need to measure the angle DAB at 75. So what I've got to do is I've got to put the vertex or the center of the protractor on the vertex A on A. Exactly where A is. Try and be as accurate as you can. Okay, so you can see here that the scale on the inside is the one that starts from zero. We're going to measure the angle going this direction. Okay, we need to measure the angle 75 degrees. Now here's, here we have from zero, we're going to start this way. Okay, so is this 70? So 75 is about here. Okay, that's where 75 degrees is. It's right here. Okay, 70, that's 80, that's 75. Now remember, we're looking at, I'm trying to make it as accurate as I can. Okay, we're looking at the inner scale because that's where our zero is. Okay, if I put 75 over here, okay, then that would be actually not 75 degrees, that would be 180 minus 75 degrees. So be very careful about which scale you use. The one that starts from zero, you go along, that 75 is over there. Then I can move the protractor out of the way once I've done this. Okay, try and be as accurate as you can. And then I know that the line A, from A through that point, has to go all the way up to the point D, which is on the line CX. Okay, so not much space here. Okay. So I'm going to draw this line through A, through that point. That point should really be a bit smaller, um, a bit thinner than that. I couldn't really make it thinner than that on this. Okay, but there we have the line from A through. So we know this angle is 70, 75 degrees. Okay, for sure, this angle is 75 degrees. And so this must be the point D. This point here must be the point D. Okay. All right. So now it says um, find the actual length of the side BC of the marketplace. Okay. So then the next part of the question, it tells us to find, we read it carefully here, find the, find the actual length of the side BC of the marketplace. Now, what I did was I printed out this page um, as actual size and I measured the length AB and then I adjusted the rule I have because I can make this rule bigger and smaller according to what I need. So I adjusted this rule, you see, so that it's the same length as AB and the paper that I printed out for this paper. So AB on my paper was 10 centimeters. It might be that the actual printed paper was different. Sometimes I get um, warped when they're being photocopied and stuff. The ones in the exam are printed on a printing press, so therefore those will all be the same and there won't be any uh, adjustments or any changes. So sometimes in these scale diagram questions, the actual, the actual angle that you, uh, or the actual length that you want to measure is not the same as the length, okay, um, on the original diagram. So sometimes the mark scheme comes out the answers very slightly because of that reason, but hopefully that AB was 10 centimeters on there. And I'm going to just line up this ruler so I can measure the length of BC here. Okay, the length of BC. Let's have a look. 
make sure it's straight like you can see that it's basically 9.5 looks like it's exactly 9.5 exactly 9.5 centimeters so let's hope that's what it actually is in the real paper okay if it's not then we can adjust the answers according to what it should be once the mark skin comes out now so on the diagram find the actual length of BC so we know that the length on the diagram is 9.5 centimeters okay and we know that one centimeter okay one centimeter it represents five meters so we want to find out how many meters is 9.5 centimeters representing so we have to multiply 9.5 by 5 okay so you have 9.5 multiplied by 5 okay that's going to give you 47.5 okay so that's 47.5 meters okay so the actual length of BC is 47.5 meters okay that's the length of the side BC of the marketplace okay so there we have the answer to part I think that's part A, A and B. All right, now part C, okay, it's actually um, on the other page, but I've moved it here so that we can see it with the diagram. It says, um, in this part, use a ruler and compass only, all right, no protractor. Street sellers are allowed in the part of the market that is, that there's three conditions. It should be more than 35 meters from A, nearer to C than to B, and nearer to CD than to BC. So there are three constructions we need to draw. So we, on the diagram, construct and shape the region where street sellers are allowed. Write the scale of the drawing in the form 1 to N. Okay, so now first of all, now that's part D. Part C, so let's deal with that first. So more than 35 meters from A. Okay, so we've got to adjust the 35 meters according to the scale. Now we know the scale is, as is written here, one centimeter to five meters. Okay, so we know that one centimeter is five meters. So we want to know how many centimeters is 35 meters. Okay, and we can see that um, that's going to be seven. You have to just do one times 35 divided by five. So seven centimeters is, okay, how far the sellers have to be from A in terms of our diagram here. So what I need to do is I need to take the ruler let me just put it back straight um, put it back straight okay I'll just put it up here for a second all right I need to measure an arc of seven centimeters from B so it says for, from a sorry so I need to I know that the the sellers can have to be more than centim seven centimeters okay in terms of this diagram from the point a okay they can't come closer than seven centimeters so the boundary for them that they can't pass is going to be like an arc of a circle but inside the marketplace so I need to take out a compass which looks like this okay and I need to measure on this compass seven centimeters okay so I'll do it like this open it up to seven will it work yes just about works that's good Right now, it's not so easy to be 100% precise when you're doing this. So, okay, that's that looks like it's just about good. Okay, so I know that they cannot come any closer than this distance to A. So I have to make an arc inside the marketplace. Let me choose a different color. Okay. And make it quite thin so this is the boundary or one of the one of the conditions they can't come any closer than this to the marketplace okay no closer than that I try to do it as I could as I could okay so that is that length is seven centimeters representing 35 meters so they can't go 35 meters from uh, closer to here so they have to be more than 35 meters from a so they have to be in this area over there but there's two other conditions that they must be nearer to C than B. Nearer to C than to B. Now these are two points 
okay two fixed points and we have to find the, the the line which is exactly halfway between them and cutting through them at 90 degrees what's called the perpendicular bisector everywhere along that line will be the same distance from b as it is from c so if i take my compass okay and i make a couple of arcs okay let me just choose a color okay so i take my compass and i place the point at b and i open up the compass so it's more than a half and three quarters of the distance between b and c and i make an arc somewhere above this area here somewhere over here above the middle of the line and then i do the same somewhere on the other side of the line around the middle area then i move my compass to the other side leaving it the same radius and i do exactly the same thing okay so i make a, an arc which crosses the arc that i made earlier and i do the same on the other side i've gone over some of my writing no problem okay so now if I join these two together with a straight line, it has to be thin, a thin straight line. Okay, if I join these two points together, so I'm going to join this point to that point, and I'm going to continue on. Okay, so it goes through the whole of the shape. Okay, so that is the perpendicular bit bisector of BC, meaning every point on this line is, if you measure its distance from C, to that point and from B to that point they will give you the same length okay equidistant from B and C and it must also be so that's that's the question says it said it should be nearer to C than B so first to find out what's nearer to one side than another side we need to find what's exactly in the middle between them okay so if I know what's exactly in the middle I can say what is closer to one side than the other that's why we drew the, the, the perpendicular bisector then it said nearer to cd than to bc nearer to cd than to bc okay now cd and bc are both a pair of intersecting straight lines they intersect at the point c so if i want to find the locus of points all the points which are um, closer to cd than to bc okay then i need to first find the locus of points which are equally distant from CD and B, BC so that I can then decide which side of those is closer to CD. So what I need to do is again take my compass okay and I need to um, make an arc with C as my C as my vertex. So what I'll try and do is make some space up here. So I'm going to take C as my vertex. Okay, try and be as accurate as you can. And then I'm going to make an arc on either arm at, at a comfortable radius. So like something like this, and then on this side as well. Okay. Then I take my compass and I move it to one of those arcs. Okay. And then I make an arc in the middle there. And from this side, I do the same thing. I may make an arc in the middle here. Okay, and then be careful not to mix your arcs from the other, other part of the um, question. And you join this point with that point, of course, with a ruler. And you continue it all the way through the shape. I have to kind of like continue here. I have to make sure it, it goes through the whole shape. One straight line with your ruler that goes through the arc and it goes right through C. Okay, the vertex C. Okay, this is almost there. Okay, so here we have the constructions that we need. We have this arc over here, and we have this line over here, which is what well, this arc, everywhere along this arc is exactly 35 meters from A. Everywhere along this line here, this perpendicular bisector, of CD, BC, this, this everywhere along this line is exactly the same distance from B as it is from C and everywhere along this angle bisector called um, the angle bisector here is exactly the same distance from CD as it is from BC. 
Okay, so those are the three constructions that we needed. Now we've got to do some shading. It says here, um, and on the diagram, construct and shade the region where the street sellers are allowed. So more than 35 centimeters from A. So it must be outside of this arc. Can't be inside this arc anyway. Outside of the arc. And it also says, um, nearer to C than to B. So it must be above this perpendicular bisector and not below it. So it must be somewhere, whoops, it must be somewhere in, what did I do there? It must be somewhere in this region, which is more than 35 centimeters from A and also closer to C than B. So somewhere above here. Okay. And then the final condition was, it should be, um, where is it? Nearer to CD than to BC. Nearer to CD than to BC. So it's closer to this side of this angle bisector than to this side. So it's going to be on this side here somewhere. So if we shade that region, it's going to look something like this. I'll try to make it nice colors. Okay, so I need to shade this whole region here. Closer to CD than to uh, BC. Closer to C than to B. And more than 75 meters, uh, sorry, 35 meters from A. Okay, and that 7 centimeters represented what we need. So this is the area that we need without that section there. Okay, so I just kind of shaded it a bit. Okay, it can be a bit neater than that. Um, and it says, does it say anything? Construct and shade the region where the street sellers are allowed. So the street sellers are allowed in this shaded region. They're not allowed anywhere else apart from this shaded region. And there's no uh, need for us to write anything like, sometimes it says, and write R in the required region. Okay, here there's no need for us to do that. Okay, because it doesn't tell us to do that. So there we have those three constructions which are really important, okay, fundamental um, for loci and construction. You have your arc, okay, which tells you a certain distance from a fixed point. You have your perpendicular bisector, which tells you what's equally distance between two points, and then you can decide what's closer to the one than the other. Then you have your angle bisector, which cuts the angle in half. Now this is not actually not being drawn very accurately, as you can see. So you have to be as accurate as you can when you do it, okay? As accurately as you can. So there we have, yeah, it's supposed to go through this arc, so it's okay, it's not bad. Okay, so there we have our answer to that question. I hope that was clear. Uh, oh, part D, sorry. Part D says, write the scale of the drawing in the form one to N. So we know that one centimeter, whoops, that's torn in it. Okay, we know that one centimeter. Okay, let me go back to blue. One centimeter is equivalent to five meters in this diagram. Okay, so when you want to write the scale in the form one to n, okay, uh, you need uh, to get rid of the units. So I need to express them with the same unit. So this is one centimeter and this five meters is 500 centimeters. So the scale is therefore one to 500. Okay, one to 500. That's the scale of this drawing. Okay, and that's basically this question.